So my mom uh, has been to jail three times. That's my icebreaker. <laughs> and, uh, say again, it's kind of my Tupac story, you know. First time, you know, she didn't go to jail for like, you know, she didn't own and operate a meth lab or a murder, you know, or like treason. She just liked to drink, you know. You know, don't we all? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But she had a lot of DUIs. I'm talking like a scroll, you know, like it's hitting the floor and shit, you know, when you were looking at it. And the first time she went to jail, I was five. And I didn't really know why or what was happening. I just knew that they took my mom away. And I didn't see her for a little bit. But then I saw her again. And then she went to jail when I was 16, 17, 18, around that time. I remember Akon Slot that was out, so we saw that to her a lot all the time. Because she had a sense of humor about it, you know. But when that happened, you know, I had three younger siblings, I had a brother and two sisters, and I kinda had to step up and become an adult before I was ready. But sometimes like that's the motivation that you need as a person to push you. So I went along with that and made me a better person, I think. And then when she got out of jail, Saying locked up right in her face. Right in her face. <laughs> and then when I was 20, she went to jail again. And I was like, I got this. And I, I did it before. You know, I worked. I was a food runner at a restaurant. I was making money. You know, I could take care of my family. But I didn't know one thing. I didn't know that my mom left us with back rent. And I was like, I had six hundred dollars saved, so I was like, maybe I could take care of that. But I found out that it was two grand back on it, and we had an eviction notice that we did not know about as well. We had one week to pay. I had one week to pay fourteen hundred dollars, basically. So I was like, took my brother and sister, went over to the real estate agency, brought them. I said, hey guys, listen, need you to look poverty stricken and cute. All right. <laughs> trying to get this extended. We had property stricken down, uh, cute, we needed to work on, but we got, but we got, we had a week, we got extra weeks, we had two weeks, you know. So I had two weeks to raise $1,400, and as a food runner, you're not making a lot of money in a restaurant doing that, but I picked up every shift, any shift, I worked every day, you know, and listen, I, you know, not to say I said brought Tupac earlier. It wasn't like me against the world, though. You know, I, I you know, I had my uh, grandmother. Man, she made sure that we were fed. We weren't eating like pizza bites all the all the time. You know, like I lived at my house. She just to have a room for us to live with her. And also, thank God for my friends too, because I was like for helping me keep my sanity. I was stressed out. You know, motherfucker need to smoke some weed sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I was just working as hard as I can. I worked myself to, basically to a fever. So my job was like, listen, you're too sick to work. So this was a few days before that $1,400 was due. And I felt so shitty because I felt like I was like letting my uh, brothers, sisters, my siblings down because like I was, I went to, I'm a big family guy, you know? It's like important to keep family together, you know? And so basically, my friends got together and they were throwing a party. And I knew that this party, that they were throwing it to raise money for me, but I ended up being like $400 short on the day before the money was due. So that night, I was just invited to this party and this is when I discovered Jello shots. And I was like, really? I was like, I'm gonna drink myself to oblivion. I was just doing all these jello shots, you know? My blood alcohol level, if you like read it, it would be like J-E-L-L. -L. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I'm gelatin at this point. So they invite me into the room and they say, we got you something, Jared. I'm like, fuck, like, I know they got me money, but it's probably not $400. So they hand me this like thick envelope, because like mostly everybody was like servers. 
And I was so drunk, right? Like, I was like quivering. I was like gelatin, you know? I was like, oh, I just say, and the winner is, and I opened up the envelope, and money flutters, like, everywhere. Like, it's like, rain, it's, you do, I made it rain, and this is like, before making it rain was cool, so, I'm like an innovator, in a sense. You know what I mean? I'm that shit up. But here they had given me 500 bucks. Wow. wow. Yeah. And that sticks in my mind, you know, like, like the money's like slow motion. And I remember everybody's like laughing and smiling faces behind that fluttering money. And it's kind of like, literally like the wallpaper in my brain, you know, when I'm feeling, you know, down. And, uh, you know, I just got to thank my, uh, you know, my friends and my family. They motivate me to, uh, just be a better person, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys very much.